Hi everyone, it's Saturday the 21st of August and the time is 2.45 in the afternoon and this is part 4 of the Saracen Rawl rebuild. Uh, today we're going to be fitting some forks. They arrived. Unfortunately they're not as red as I thought they were. They looked a much deeper red in the photos but these are more of a peach colour. Never mind. They will do for now. They're easy enough to swap if I want to change them in the future, which I probably will. Um, but yeah, for now, we're going to put these puppies on. So, let me uh, pause for a moment, turn you around and get everything set up and uh, we'll get stuck in. Okay, so first things we need to do is get the bearings in, so I've got you zoomed in at the headset so uh, you can see what I'm up to. Now, because these are sealed I don't need to grease these up or anything, but I do need to go up the correct way. Mine's a little, I don't know if you can see that, a little sloped groove on this top edge. That's got to go upwards. So that's got to go that way in. Hopefully they'll stay there. Um, oh, one thing I do need to grab. Oh, that's okay. It's here. It's the uh, stem, so everything doesn't fall a bit. Now, right. now we should just slide the forks up. You can slide the bearings on the forks first if you wish. It doesn't matter. Um, I need to get top ones. Which go in on the top, the uh, little groove or the sloped piece facing downwards, like that. And I've got to put the uh, code in, like so. The cap, a little bit of a tight fit, but they are going on, like so. Actually, that tight fit's not bad. I'll have to stick something in there and just clean the threads out of that for the centre bar. Um, do I need any spaces? That's a good question. Um, I think that one might be a bit too deep. Yes, a bit too deep that one. another deep one. Kind of glad this came with all these spaces to begin with. So we'll, put, we'll put a little thin one on and we'll twist our stem on. Just like that. Now I will want like a little screwdriver or pick or something just so I can pick that dirt out. I'm just gonna uh, oh, wrong way. Zoom you out a bit. Seems like these forks have been stored somewhere. Mucky because there's some mud around the bottom as well. I will give them a clean up before I put the wheels in. Literally, I just want to do that and just knock that dirt out of there because next step there's a part that's still on the desk. <laughs> um, where is it? I can't get this to screw in. I can almost put a new flower in. I've got the new one there. I just bash the one in there further down out of the way and knock this one in. But I'm hoping I don't have to do that. So that should go in like right that and that should bite, which it has. Sweet. Um, I'm going to get that as level as I can, but I can straighten it up when it's on the floor. It's actually pretty darn tight. Just before we even got this screwed in properly. Just a little bobby. Sorry. Yeah. 
But it should be able to do this bit up and until you don't get any wobble in there. Still got a fair bit in there, so I've still got a way to go. It's only a bit tight. It's only a bit tight to turn that because. Had that dirt in it. Like that. that is. It's perfect. So that's that bit done. Um, I'm going to leave doing these up for now because I may have to adjust it because I should still be able to move the stem left and right once I've got a wheel in it and whatnot. So. Doesn't look brilliant with those in, but they will do for now. Unfortunately, I can't go on eBay yet and go and get another pair. Because I've got other things to pay for for the next couple of months. Uh, my provisional license has finally come through. It, uh, it arrived in the mail this morning. So... I've got booked CBT, which isn't going to be for another couple of months. Only because the uh, company is, that I want to go with is pretty well booked. There's a local motorcycle place here in town that used to do it as well, but they had to stop because um, something to do with the um, high school here, not being able to use the ground anymore. You know, for the, I think it was for the comb task or something, I can't remember. So I've got to go up to City and I want to go with um, Top Notch, which is actually the same one my little brother went with. And it's cheaper than another local one. There's Cam Rider, which won £179. So I was like, ow, that's a bit expensive. Um, well, there's Top Notch, which is £149. Um, but the other thing with Cam Rider is, if you don't succeed it the first time, you have to pay another £149 to retake it. For a full day. Or £90 for half day. I just thought, no. Nope. I may have to wait a couple of months to get it because um, Top Notch actually have absolutely no spaces in September. Not until the end of October, actually. So I thought it's not necessarily a bad thing because the MOT on my bike is about to run out. It runs out sometime in September. I'll have to check the certificate. Right, there's the handlebar fitted. I was so carried away talking about that, I forgot to talk about what I was actually doing. Anyway, <laughs> when you tighten up these headsets, you alternate the bolts. So if I start this one, for example, I then go down to that one, and I go to this one, and that one. Just keep going round until, you know, all of them are nice and tight, basically. That one's all right. That one's all right. That one was a little bit loose, but there we go. So, make sure that's not too stiff. Nope, that is perfect. Okay, it's starting to look like a bike. So, I think what I'm going to do next is put on my shifters. Which now I'm going to need to swap the hex key for. What do I do with my 5 mil? Do I put it back on there? Nope, the hexagon keys I'm using, I'm actually going to sit on there, so I don't know where they are. Did I chuck it? Is that five mil or is that six? That's a six, isn't it? Yeah. Too big. That's a six mil, I want the five mil. What have I done with it? I had it here a moment ago. It's not the toolbox, if it was, it would be sitting right on the top. 
I've done what I normally do, I've laid it down somewhere, now I can't find it. thought I had some loose ones lying in the top there. And that one? No. That one? No. I swore I put some... Uh... Is it that one? Oh, I found it. On the floor. Dumbo. Right. They simply just slide onto your bar like that. There's some sticky crap on there, which is why these are being a bit of a... The left side should be a lot better. Oh, there we go. So, let's slide that down. Somewhere there. I'm going to do it the same with the other one. Because I'm going to get the handlebar grips on before I bolt these down. Look at that. Automatically uh, spun round so I can do the left. There we go. Same with the left. Three speed one goes on your left, whatever the other one is goes on the other. In this case, it's an eight speed shifter. We've got an eight speed wheel in the back. Well, I would have. Now, these can be an absolute bugger to put on. So, show you a little trick. I don't know how well it's going to work, but just give me a moment. Right. Okay, I'm back. Washing up the grip. Okay. What I'm going to do, put some liquid on here. Face full of bubbles. I'm just gonna cut that whole handlebar in it. And I'm hoping that will help. Now I've got a slimy hand. <laughs> so any disadvantage for that. It should help slide these on. I'm trying to do it. Uh, Oh yeah, that's helping a great deal. Trying to do it without that is um, a nightmare. Ask me how I know. <laughs> how far have I got to go? Not far. I can't. That one, can I? Nope. And I have done it without any sort of lubricating help. But it really is hard work. Are we there? We're there. Right, that's good enough. There's still bubbles floating about, look. Right, there's one. One down, one to go. So all I'm going to do is do the same for this side. Um, and that. I have to go on a bit further for now. What was that? So we do the same again. Pour a bit of this on your handlebar. Blow more bubbles everywhere. Spread it all over. A nice slimy hand. And problem when you get a slimy hand, you can't grip nothing. There we go. The last thing I want to just pop in is because it finishes it off and I'm done throwing that across the floor. I'll just these little stoppers to go in the end. They should, they should in theory. Just push in, but they don't want to. 
Should we try? A little bit of force like that. There we go. <laughs> Let's do the same for this side. Just need a bit of a gentle tappy tap. Apart from this side, which uh, I don't want to go in. Ah, that's because there is something already in there. I thought it was a load of um, dirt or something, but no, there is actually something. Probably one of these that's already broken off in the past. So I'm just going to knock this down, that's all. It's just going to be easier than trying to pull it out. Knock it in out of the way, and now. There we go, so it's both of those on. Okay. Um, ooh, my left one is nearly set up exactly where I like it. Now I like mine slightly down, not too far down. That feels exactly right right there. See that's why I leave tightening these up to last, because you don't know where your handlebar grips are going to come up to, so... I'm going to get it roughly where I want them for now. It'll be easier to set these up once they're on the floor. Alright, I'll do one more thing and then I'll call it quits for this part and they're on to part five, I suppose. Film all this in one day. Right, they can come out, don't need these. Because the uh, new ones have got the new screws in. Same colour as those, actually. Oh. It's alright, I'm only just behind you. It's behind you. Okay. So easy to change the forks. All I've got to do is undo these, undo that, drop it off, take these two out and take the brakes off. I don't even have to disconnect the brake cable, I can leave it connected. Slide in the new forks. Bolt everything back together again. I could do it in about 20 minutes or so. So that's why I'm not really. Uh, fast about changing forks in the future. Like I said, probably my mistake. I should have double checked the colour of them, but never mind. That'll do for now. No doubt I can uh, use them on another build in the future. There's no doubt I'll build something else in the future. I was going to stick them on my other Saracen, but uh, Having actually thought about that, no. Oh. Now, unlike the rears, which had three a choice of three notches to put that little spring peg into, this has only got the one. So you don't worry about which one to put in. <laughs> it is only the one. So there's one. I haven't got to swap the uh, brake blocks around either. It's just a case of putting these in bottom on. Jobs are good. So I open my little pack. This time, I've got my knife. There we go. Yeah. It's just the two bolts. Right? I've got the weight on the handlebars now, so they're rotating all on their own. I've actually spent on this bike. I could have gone out and bought a brand new one. No. Ooh, treated myself, which is what I was planning to do. I've never actually owned a brand spanking new bicycle. 
and he ever bought second hand apart from the bikes I've built which have new parts on but uh, I'm actually having a lot more fun doing this to be honest that is going to be a hell of a springy break <laughs> that's a lot of spring tension on that holy mackerel Yep, these bearings are definitely good ones. I might get another one of those. Um, why hasn't? Because it's not to mold. It's just slipped out. In the hole. There we go. Part five, forks, handlebar stem, handlebar, gear and brake shifters, and handlebar grips all installed. So, next video, chuck in the wheels, plumb in all the cables. And once the cables are plumbed in and all set up, we should be good to go. We should be able to go for a nice ride on it. I hope. Make sure we've got the plane there. No, that's good. And it's obviously not too tight because it does that nice and freely. So, we're good there. Um, no, I still haven't tightened. I must remember to tighten those up. Otherwise, there's a risk I'll go to steer left and the bike will go right. I know it looks all right now, but. There's nothing on the floor, is there? There's no friction. I will say the forks are in reasonable condition. And they are a decent brand, that's why I went for them. It's just a shame they weren't uh, a little bit more on the red side. <laughs> but to be honest, I don't think they look that bad on them. I might get used to them and might just leave them. I just have to see... Uh, the future holds. I don't know if you noticed that I did put a seat on it off camera. <laughs> I, need, I want to get some parts out of the way and I thought well that's easy enough and just you know just push it into the bike and whoop, clamp it down. So first ride I can't wait to have now. Right thanks a lot for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for part, what did I say it was, part five. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.